I recently casted a new Splatoon tournament, the 20XX series, which had a lot of top competition. You can find the full VOD of that in the description, but today I wanted to focus on a specific team that ran Tetras and Inkbrush in a comp together, and it went really well. So here's the highlights, and let me know if you guys want to see an analysis on what makes this comp so good. I only was able to catch game two of their first set against Jackpot, another top team. So unfortunately, there's no game audio for this one match. Like Jackpot gets a lot of damage on the shot, damage on the nod, they will stop the push, the jackpot will be getting that first checkpoint. Two kills being found from Isabel. A jump out on the right side. And that's going to be full map control for Vino Tinto. Isabel going to be painting on the right. Finds a kill with the auto bomb. Trying to push in here. Goes for the splash on top cover. Baller from Lucas. Two people go down. They're going to be able to push up a ton right now. Tetra finds another kill onto Legend. One is in the corner here trying to do something. I think it's the Jet or the Zap. They're being backed up. Isabel right in the tower to get the points. They don't have a lot to stall tower. Hopefully Wave could be getting that bomber. She finds a pick onto the knot though. That could be potentially huge. Two go down. One on the left side. Two by tower. 18 points. They just are two away if they can touch tower. Legend's going for the pick though. He tries to turn around but it's a little bit too late. The push only gets to 18. That's not enough. The knot goes down to Ellis. And Jackpot's only going to have one push opportunity left. It's 18 seconds left. Both teams regrouping. Legend gets caught sharking. Isabel listening in. What a huge play. That's going to be putting Jackpot down one. Isabel almost finds another if Lucas can finish it off. No, he doesn't. Leafy somehow survives. The one player goes down, though, and they're nowhere near that tower. Later in the Swiss stage of the tournament, they would go against some top Japanese players, including a 3,000 XP Splatling player. Ball point Splatling coming out. And is dead to an E-leader within the first three seconds of the game. That is what playing ball point is like against Chargers. TikTok gonna get rushed down by this catcher, trying to back off slowly, gets away. Barely. Gonna have to be careful for the bucket. We're gonna be watching the squeezer. Putting some pressure. Tetra gonna promptly shut him down, though. Gonna be pushing the right side. Finds Tic Tac as well. Finds the bucket. It's just the ball point. The Tetra has killed three players. Not gonna go for the ball point. Gonna splash down, which will get the kill, but they'll also die. Oh, come on. Tic Tac gonna do his best to hold the zone. Baller invested, but... The zone is not flip. There we go. Right as I say, that took a little bit too long. Take that gonna be pushed into this corner here. Gonna back off. Rush finds him though. Baller comes out on the left side. Gonna be pushing up with the Tetra Dooley. The brush will trade for the second pick, but those bubbles are gonna be really hard to shut down. That being said, it's only the squeezer. They pick the bucket. Go to the squeezer. I am holding right. Right the pat Oh my god. I'm busting out the Joy-Cons. This is inexcusably bad. Wait. Oh, that's the game. Okay. Wow. Thanks, spectator. It's still a really strong calm. No way! We're seeing a range! Let's go! Range Blaster Tetra Dooley! Go to the range. I'm washing the grip. Let's go! TC Reef, it is one of the best map modes for Grim. Gets one kill. Pushing forward. Rush ball. We're gonna follow him, push it into the enemy side. Gonna look for a pick. See this epic range blaster gameplay. Oh, there's another direct. Here, we gotta watch other players too. Isabel gonna be fighting the opposing Tetra. Will be winning it. Tic Tac gonna be fighting the 85. Bias commentator. Bias there, yes. Isabel on the Tetra Duel. Gonna be getting it. What is this comp, dude? What am I watching? This is like a... This is all... Like, besides the Tetra, this is like a Splat 1... What the f***, bro? I don't know how you let that happen to you, to be honest. That's a little embarrassing. Go to the range. He's on my broken arrow key. He goes down. Tetra is shutting this all down. Gonna be going for the H3... Hydra with the assist, though, will shut it down. Get some shots off. Not able to find it. Get a camp. The landing. It's a Tetra fight on the right side, but Isabel runs out of ink. 
Lucas gonna be going for the other Tetra. H3 is jumping in. Is that QRH3? TikTok is playing QRH3. Okay, TikTok. Range set up on the bridge, but the opponent has armor. No! Oh, but the flick. Lucas was weak from the ink mines to combo with the range, but Isabel shuts it down, getting one, getting two, and they aren't even gonna get the second checkpoint, getting three kills. Gonna be pushing this right side. Range goes down. Rush able to find the pick. Rush with Baller trying to push in here on this left side. Tic Tac backed up. Baller from Lucas. Grim is just, he can't do anything against the Baller, so he's gonna try to run away. On the bridge, trying to pressure forward. Has to go for the tower, gets one hit. Teammate will assist. Almost gets the flick on the brush. That was very close. Rush gonna be trading with the Hydra. Dude, what are the KDs this team, uh, this guy, this game? Look at this, Wave has 22, as well as 18, the Zap has 17. This is Team Deathmatch, we aren't even playing Splatoon 2 anymore. And I mean, unfortunately, the team with the experienced Tetra is probably gonna win. That weapon likes to fight things, like, a lot. Tetra on the bottom, Isabel are gonna just go for the objective, but the bomb doesn't pick her, but she's able to just get the pick on Tic Tac. That was, uh, an interesting... Game! Heavy is running around trying not to die, but the Tetra will be getting an early pick. Notices the try behind them. Gonna attempt to shut it down. Very smart with the rolls to keep their distance. L3 on Snipe will find the pick, though. Might find the Tetra as well. Does. L3 on the right. Finally goes down. But they're gonna go right. I think Snipe might have been better, but it's okay. They're getting the picks anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Ellis able to combo for one. Isabel gonna splash down for that Rainmaker pop. And paint. Painting for Ellis gets the lead all the way up to 10. Lucas gonna be pairing up there with them. Lucas going literally into their spawn shield. Trying to be annoying. Gonna get picked off though. Missiles coming out from Wave. Trying to defend here. Rush and Tetra are down and there is a flank. The Rainmaker is far back. They're gonna opt to play it slow though and Ellis got past them they had such a good advantage but it's starting to fall apart as i say it though the try gets a pick the rain's right next to the lead tetra falls rain going up top if someone can shoot it they can prevent it 16 15 11 is where it will get stopped tic tac has the rainmaker for the last chance brush gets pushed off rain on the right side trying to find something they all get picked and it's just the l3 and that will be Vino Tinto getting the win and the top seed. With the Swiss stage done, this brush and Tetra comp is looking super strong going into top eight. But will they be able to beat not FT win and their rematch against Jackpot? You'll have to wait for part two to find out.